Warm greetings to all. Today, let's talk about a Veer Gatha of revolutionary Veer Damodar Savarkar. Veer Damodar Savarkar. He was born on 28th May 1883 in the Marathi Chitpavan Brahman Hindu family. His father's name was Damodar Savarkar and mother's name Radha Bai Savarkar. He had two brothers and one sister whose name was Mana Bai. His parents died at an early age. He married to Yamuna Bai. She was from a wealthy family and she had a fond of music. She was a very good singer. She awakened her husband for the love of patriotism and gave a new voice to his patriotic poems. Savarkar went on to become a revolutionary young man as a youngster savarkar organized a young group and named it as mitra mela he was inspired by radical political leaders like lala lajpat rai bal gangadhar tilak and bipin chandra pal savarkar's brother ganesh had organized a protest against the indian councils act 1909 minto morley reforms British police claimed that Vinayak Savarkar had plotted the crime and hence issued an arrest warrant against him. Savarkar escaped to Paris where he took shelter at Bhikaji Gama residence. He was arrested by the British police on March 13, 1910. On July 4, 1911, he was taken to the Andaman and Nicobar Islands where he was locked up at the very infamous cellular jail known as Kala Pani. Veer Savarkar formed many organizations and contributed in the independence of our country. He wrote a book named as Sepoy Mutiny. The book was a huge success and was broadcasted in many other languages. He formed a group of like-minded people due to these activities of his he came in the eyes of police and was arrested in London During his time in prison Savarkar wrote an ideological pamphlet called Hindutva Hindutva influenced many Hindus as it described a Hindu as a patriotic and proud inhabitant of Bharat Varsh He also described Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism and Hinduism as one and the same and supported the creation of Akhand Bharat, Reunited India or Greater India. Veer Damodar Savarkar He contributed in the independence of our country and wrote a book, Sipai Mutiny. He formed a group of minded people together. that is why he was arrested in london on 13 march 1910 he was sent to india by a ship when he was being brought to india by ship he hid and went under water he swam in very cold water and reached at the shore here he had already asked some of his friends to come but they were late in coming and savarkar caught again He was sent to the cellular jail in Port Blair on 4 July 1911. He was treated very harshly in the jail. He has also got the punishment of black water known as kala pani ki saza. He killed an officer named Jackson. He was kept in a very small dungeon where he was kept alone. His brother Ganesh was also locked in the same jail but he was kept very strictly and even didn't realize about his brother's presence in the same jail Seeing such a harsh behavior Veer Savarkar wrote an apology letter to the government several times There were books which were written by Savarkar Savarkar said then when all the goals of a person's life are fulfilled 
then a person should move towards his death that is called surrender of life Savarkar gave up water and food on 3rd Feb 1966 and requested his doctor not to give him any treatment or any kind of services. He left his body on 26th of Feb 1966. Jail in which he had suffered so many tortures. Today that jail has also been made a tourist spot and known as cellular jail in port blair so adversity is that power which evaluates a man's true worth and takes him further in the life these are the sayings of veer damodar savarkar thank you all